All right, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am Marin's man, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is bright and sunny. You understand me? It is a day that the good Lord has made. You know what we say. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Let us rejoice and be glad with it. David said this. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So will to fear no evil, no matter what stage of your journey you are on. You may be in a valley. You may be in a ditch. You may be in, in a deep, dark, lonely place. Fear no evil, for the good shepherd is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So be encouraged and be of good strength. Like David said to his son Solomon, be strong and be a man. Have the resolve to fight to the end. And to the end you fight, hold it on to firm faith. Because without faith it is impossible to please God for anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. All right, let's dive right into the content. So be encouraged, my people. Those three things coming up. Hit the like button. Yeah. Hit the like button. Subscribe and share. So the first thing we want to do, we want to big up our 7,001 subscriber. 7,001. Last night, we made it to 7,000. We are not big, but we are making great impact. You and I, changing and transforming things. We bring positive energy. We bring correct information. We stay legit to who we are. We speak the truth and we don't disrespect. Yeah, we speak the truth and we act professional with our craft and our trade. You hear that? All right. So now, number one, let me talk to Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith. Check them out. Shannon Sharp in particular, talking about the Americans coming for Jamaica. Pop, 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 pop. Shannon Sharp. Before you go talk about track and field, call some track and field people. Get some track and field information. Some stats. Get that. Don't come and talk these things based on what you see at the American Olympic trials. Have you seen Shelly and Fraser? Have you seen her to determine that Shakara Richardson can beat her? Tell me what you have seen Shakara Richardson done against Shelly and Fraser Price to convince you that in this Olympic, she's going to beat her. Have you seen Sharika Jackson? Have you seen Elaine? Have you seen, what have you seen of these three premier Jamaican athletes? Have you seen them against Shakari this season in the 100 meters for you to believe that? How did you come to the conclusion that your American athletes are going to dominate and going to beat the Jamaican? How did you come to that? This is not American football, boss. No. This is not the NBA. No. This is not MLS soccer. No. Track and field at the Olympics is not an American sport. It is a global event with other athletes from other nations, boss man. Not just America, not just Jamaica. You have Nigerians. At least from the Ivory Coast, bossy. At least from Europe. From, from the United Kingdom. So when you come into talk, track and field boss, go and do some analysis and get some information. Now Stephen A. Smith, you should know better. You should know better, my brother. Shannon Sharp is new to this sport business. He played it at a higher level than you. We are veteran athletes. You don't even know who will win the Jamaican Olympic trials. You, know? you don't know. You don't know. You don't know if Brianna Bri Williams will be at her best. You don't know. Christina Slowly, do you know her? You don't know her. What if she breaks into the top three, bossy? So relax, man. Watch the Jamaican trials and watch the times before you run your mouth. Because you may have to eat. The humble pie, you shan and shop. 
if you want to know, reach out to me, man. We give you some truck and feed information. Call Shakari Richardson herself and ask her if she's confident that she's going to take this. Relax. Keep calm. Don't make it up again, you know. Because this is the next time we're coming at you hard. Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Simit. Know that. Don't play with Jamrock. It's because you have said what you have said. You have awakened the sleeping lionesses of Jamaica. That you have done, you know. You have given them reason to go one, two, three. Gold, silver, bronze. Take that in your face. Hold that. So let's just move. People, Jamaican people, hit the like button. Share and subscribe. You know how the thing go. Right? Listen, West Indies, telling you, know, West Indies got knocked out of the World Cup. Ravman Paul is a Jamaican. But Ravman Powell reminds me so much of Jason Holder. In the team for leadership, but they don't produce the goods. And this has been a long while. Ravman Powell rarely produces the goods. You tell me rate as a cricketer, man of a good heart, love the game, works hard on the field, works hard on his craft. Can bat a little, bowl a little. But when it matters most, the captain have to perform. And too often, when it comes to the crunch time, when Ravman is captain, he does not perform. And, and not because I'm a Jamaican, don't mean me can't say that. When it matters most, Ravman, you must perform. You must perform, my brother. You have good record as a captain, but the performance is from you. As an individual player in the team, not dead in my boss. Me not talk about your decision making as a captain. I'm talking about your batting in particular, my boss. For too long you have been struggling to play spin bowling. From I know you, I watch you, I mean I tell people that a big cricketer this, this you talk a big. You have a friend whom I know very well and he talks highly about you. But every time spin come onto the, the, the comes up to the crease to bowl, you're struggling to play it. From I know you are playing the cricket bassman at the international level. So when are you going to take some time to understand leg spin and half spin and play the googly and them thing the bass? Yeah, that must happen, bossy. Come on, rough man, man. You let me down, boss. Me I tell you, you let me down. No joke. You can't come in at that time with the team struggling with my boss and not make no runs, bossy. It don't make no sense. Although I kind of knew that we weren't going to win it because no host nation has ever won the ICC T20 World Cup. I don't know why West Indies was if they want to win. Make America was it, man. And that's a shadow, man. And we go where they go play, man. Please, man, they give me <laughs> Rob, man, you have to go on better. You have to go on better still. You understand? Finally. My people, hey, listen, reggae boys, at them again, up against Ecuador. I told you people, people, you know, if people listen to me and, and take my words seriously, if people listen to me and understand the things that I'm saying, a lot of what's happening, you know. Let me give you an example. I told people that the gap is closing. You watch Costa Rica, Brazil. Except for the blonde. We made that cast the goal against Mexico. It's, it's a similar game, very close. You're watching the Euros. There are not, no blowouts really you know, in these competitions because the gap between small teams and big teams has closed rapidly. Rapidly. Now, when it comes on to Jamaica, because we are Jamaicans, we give Jamaica a very hard time because we want to see more. But when you look at Costa Rica sitting behind that ball and defending, how many shots did they have on target? Go and check the stats. But they got a result. And the people of Costa Rica are proud about that. That is how I want Jamaicans to feel about Jamaica. That you're going to games with teams that are ranked higher than you. 
you defend well because that is a key component of the game. This idea that you must go into games and you must go and attack and attack. If you open up against these teams, you're dead like a doornail. You get six and five and four. And gone are those days in Jamaica's football. You have to go out there and be structured and organized defensively. Hoping that these teams will crack because of your great defense and then you score a goal against them. The CONCACAF teams have matched up well against the South American teams. And several of these South American teams are ranked in the top 10 in the world. Come on, people. Smell the coffee. The football is changing. And we have to appreciate that. And realize that when you go up against the big teams, you have to have good defensive organization and structure. I don't know why when the teams in CONCACAF are over the world sit back and defend. We don't celebrate that. That is part of football. That is part of football. You look at Morocco at the World Cup, you look at Croatia at the World Cup, and even in the Euros, you have to play solid defense against teams. If you open up, you're going to be dead. Like a pig. No joke. So I want us to begin to appreciate good defensive organization and structure in a team. While we want to see the fancy players, we want to see four and five goals. We want to see the team creating opportunities. We want to see our players dribbling and taking on players. We want to see tiki taki knock it around them and beat them. And also defending well is also critical. Because if you do all of the fancy stuff and do defense, you go in the, the whole onion bar going full of onion. I am management. This is I am sure sports. Again, big up and thanks to everyone who help us to get to the 7,000 mark. If you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, subscribe right now. Hit the like button, people, as well. Share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a next friend who will tell a next friend that I am sure sports is here. And I am sure that Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Simit knows nothing or very little about track and field. As usual, when it gets to this point of the show, we say we are over and we are O-U-T. Booga yang, booga yang, out of here.